Alright ladies and gents, welcome to another unboxing video. Um, today we're going to unbox the uh, War Machine Mark 6. This is from the um, Avengers Endgame movie. Another product released by ZD Toys. So yep. Just wanna mention again that ZD Toys um, is a licensed company by Disney and Marvel. So yep, not a bootleg, not a knockoff. All right. So first impressions, uh, the box. All right. So by far, this is the first. Um, box uh, I've seen ZD Toys do that has a see-through uh, version on it like you don't have to like really open the box you can see the figure right from the outside all right so let's take a closer look all right so let's take a closer look at the box all right um, First time I've seen CD Toys um, do like a see-through packaging right off the bat. Like you don't have to open anything. You can clearly see the action figure. And it's nice that they did it like at an angled or diagonal pattern. Like total deviation from what you normally see from other brands. So yeah, nice artwork there. Marvel logo, Avengers logo there, it's for the endgame version. And if you take a closer look, let's see if I can zoom in on that. Yep, that is your Disney logo right there. So definitely licensed. Um some other artwork on the side there the back some Chinese writings perhaps like descriptions and whatnot and another cool shot of the Avengers Endgame characters all right let's take him out of the box and take a closer look at his accessories um, and everything that he comes with but first we're gonna put him under the light box inside uh, on top of the ro rotating turntable and like look at his um, look at his paint job in different angles. All right, all right, and there we have him, War Machine Mark VI on the turntable under the light. Look at the paint job on this guy. Like the way the matte black finish is being complemented by the metallic silver and the color of the eyes, the red and the arc reactor on the chest. I cannot wait to get my hands on the mark 3 and see how they compare and then see how they compare once I get my hands on mark 1 which I did request to get customized uh, to be put with LED eyes and chest all right let's take a closer look at mark 6 under the light Alright, so let's take a closer look at the accessories that War Machine Mark VI comes with. Um, first, we got the display base. Alright, got the Marvel logo right there. Pretty sturdy, I must say. And like, first one I've seen that comes in a different shape. Normally, they're like, um, the display bases are like hexagonal. Or a circle um, this one's a rectangle for a change uh, we got our clamp 
for holding the figure steadily especially if you want to do him the flying pose yeah too bad this is again not a spring-loaded one that'll do uh, got extra pair of hands uh, open fa uh, open palm on uh, open fist or open palm on this one um, the one that comes with a figure by default is a uh, closed fist uh, take a closer look at the hand Let's see here yep so can see it's the, the 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 fingers the finger the, in between the fingers are like also painted uh, gunmetal or silver like they really go into detail ZD toys goes into detail with that I, I like how silver the um, false blaster is on there same goes with the other hand yep. So those are the extra pair of hands and of course his um, primary weapon is attached to his shoulder. Alright, so without further delay, let's go ahead and take a closer look at War Machine Mark 6. Alright, so here it is. War Machine Mark six up close all right I gotta say though at first I thought he was made of like the same material as the Iron Man um, action figures uh, but he actually feels kind of different he I think is built um, with a different material it, it's not it doesn't feel too plasticky um, there's a bit of rubber or uh, rubber component uh, on this one um, I don't know it, it just feels kind of different material wise or maybe I'm just not used to the paint job because I'm always seeing red and silver for Iron Man and it's, this one's not painted uh, if anyone knows uh, like let me know in the comments section but I do definitely think um, this is made of um, some sort of rubber material like mix of plastic and rubber not purely plastic all right so let's go to the talking points um, first off the paint job on this one yeah nothing really much to say about the paint job because mostly is painted or mostly is black and like the only highlights of um, this figure is are like the silver um, accentuation and yeah um, I would say though it's pretty darn good for its price uh, and it's it is a licensed product so yeah uh, again ZD toys did a good job on the paint on this one um, I could see just very minor um, very minor misses like on here on, on top of the forehead like there are minor um, over paints or something but yeah it doesn't really affect um, the way he looks overall I like how they put like sharp details on on the shoulder um, logos there like the stars and like the wings it's like it's sharply detailed it's like it wasn't painted messy at all like you got the US Air Force um, logo right there of course 
Mark 6 markings. All right, next stop, uh, let's try some articulation. Let's see how this compares to the other um, Iron Man figures. All right, so let's start, of course, with a head. Um, okay, it's on a ball joint, can turn 360, uh, but damn, pretty damn limited movement on the head I must say no I mean it's really stiff I guess the only thing that he can do is like look left and right and that's it no nod no tilt whatsoever going down to the shoulder um, that's as far as his arm raise lateral arm raise goes for the other side, yeah, that's pretty much it. Turns 360 as well, which is good. Uh, let's see what else he got. Um, okay, that's good. He's got bicep uh, movement, you can see there. Let's see about his elbow. Mm -hmm. And I'm not quite sure if it's double joint as well. It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it's double joint at all, like the previous or like the like his Iron Man um, counterparts. So yeah, well, I can let I can let that pass, considering like how bulky um, his build is um, going down to the torso mm -hmm. so definitely more rigid or should I say stiff compared to the Iron Man figures um, very limited torso movement no flex or stretch whatsoever like look at the tilt on this bulky guy like he was built to last not to flex I think uh, okay going down to the legs let's see uh, there's a very little pull down there I don't know if you can see it there very little movement so let's see without pulling it down uh, that's as far as he goes if we pull it down a bit let's see I mean I didn't see any difference at all I don't know if you guys saw anything but yeah I think there's a very little a couple of cent um, centimeters of difference as far as like his movement when we stretch out the going to pull the leg down the knees let's see okay well, at least that's double joint uh, good range of motion on the knees there uh, let's go to the foot okay so yeah pr pretty flexible I must say I mean might be even more uh, compared to the other I Iron Man versions um, he's got more movement uh, as far as the foot, the ball joint on that feet is concerned. I uh, forgot the, uh, the the hands. Yes, also on the ball joint. And of course, let's not forget about his primary weapon, which is, just peg this behind the right shoulder like so there you go so yep it just is stationary back there it's like um it's not on the attack mode it's just on standby mode for his um cannon and let's try swapping out the hands Where 
are if I can find them. Okay. So for swapping out the hands, like if you want to go one fist, one open palm with a blaster at the ready. Uh, if I can put this in, and yep, there it is. So, yep, that's it. Try the other one. I don't know. It kind of looks, kind of looks stiff, really, compared to the Iron Man counterpart. But yeah, posability wise. It really looks funny with both open fist, uh, open palms. So let's just put the fists back. I, I would say, as far as the build is concerned, he's one um, like tough build. I mean, it, he doesn't feel like you're gonna be able to break this guy at all. Uh, yeah, so let's put this back, see how it looks like, okay, so yeah, as far as posability is concerned, I think um, we're going to be using um, that stand and arm is going to come in handy because uh, that will allow for more poses uh, to be done. Unlike the Iron Man figures, like you can make them pose without the arm. But for this guy, considering his weight, he weighs um, more than the previous uh, ZD Toys lineup. I, I guess because it is because of the material that was used. But yeah, overall, if I were gonna rate this guy, as far as the paint job is concerned, I'd, I'd give it a nine just because of that very minor. Um, underpaint there. Um, posability or articulation mm, it's quite limited so maybe I'd give it a 7. Uh, overall as far as like the way he looks and everything it's still a 10 um, for me. So yeah um, I cannot wait to put this on my display stand, standing along with the other Iron Man and War Machine um, figures. So yeah, I think that would be it for this unboxing video. So alright, stay safe and see you again in my next unboxing. Peace.